We continue our study of Colossians, moving on to the third chapter today. Uh, this is Paul's letter, and he is uh, dealing with particular conflicts that the uh, church of Colossae was dealing with. And uh, here's his advice uh, that begins the, the middle of the book, chapter 3. Since then, you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. And so he's trying to give us a perspective, you know, look up. Uh, don't, don't worry about all these things that are going on uh, down here. They're mostly temporary. Uh, the, uh, the gift that we have of, of life with Christ and uh, his fellowship within our hearts and uh, the life that stretches on before us into eternity. Now, the, these are things that are important and that uh, we should carry uh, in our hearts as, as, as the, the valuable things that will get us through the day. Now, that does not mean that what's going on down here is without value or that the way that we handle ourselves down here doesn't matter. Quite the contrary. When he continues this, verse 5, he says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. So he starts talking about the kinds of things that uh, uh, get people down, the kinds of things that get them off track, get them forgetting about uh, following Christ, following God, following uh, you know, a, a life that, that would be beneficial to the community, but instead you know, looks inward towards our, our own things, you know, lust and greed and uh, idolatry. Th those are things that look to uh, who we want to be uh, exclusive of how it will help the world, in fact, quite counter to what would be helpful to the world. And so he wants us to put away those things. And he even mentions in verse 7, you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. He doesn't mind that. He's not surprised by that. He's not surprised when uh, people who don't, don't know Jesus don't act like Jesus would want them to. And he doesn't want us to be dwelling on the kinds of things that we did that were wrong in the past. That's absolutely counterproductive. But he does want us to, instead of continuing in those ways, to look up and to see uh, God seated on the throne with Jesus at the right hand and seeing our glorious purpose that comes from following Christ. And then he finishes with these words. Here, there is no Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And so when he finishes it up, when you really look at it from God's perspective, when you look up towards the throne of God, all people are equally valuable and infinitely valuable. And, and there is no uh, you know, need to, uh, uh, to look down on one group of people or another group of people. When we are walking with God, we see uh, with a beautiful tolerance and we see uh, with a beautiful vision of God's world uh, that encompasses everyone.